Hello everyone, Dia Gwith. Today we're going to talk about Frozen, the first book in the Heart of Dread series by Melissa de la Cruz and Michael Johnson. So, put on a warm coat, get your poker chips, and strap some guns to your thighs, because there ain't no time for letting it go in this one. So, what's it all about? Well, Frozen is a dystopian fantasy set in a world where it's basically just the one temperature. You guessed it, Frozen. The book opens in New Vegas, which is basically Las Vegas, but frozen. You can still go there to gamble your life away. This is where we meet our first main character, Natasha, or Nat, who is a casino blackjack dealer with a dark secret and a dream. A dream to find a place called The Blue, which she's not sure if exists, but seemingly is not frozen, drenched in sunshine, and most importantly, will be a safe place for her and her secret. There will be no judgment there. Unfortunately, she can't make it there alone. Enter our second main character, Wes. Wes is a 16-year-old mercenary ex-soldier who comes with some sass, some guns, and a witty band of merry men, so to speak. Nat hires Wes to take her on an epic journey to see if she can find the blue. And of course, there's danger, some love, and even more danger along the way. We'll start off thoughts the way we always start off thoughts, with writing style. I had no problems with the writing style of this book. Everybody spoke like they were regular human beings. None of the language was forced. Characters were beautifully written. They had unique senses about them. They had their own personalities, especially Wes and Shakes. They were my favorite. I loved them. They're so funny and wishy. They were awesome. The only thing I will say is some of um, Nat's reactions to things that were going on around her for example, no spoilers, at one point they're in quite a deadly situation and she takes the time to roll her eyes in the middle of it. And it's little things like that that irk me when it comes to books and it kind of made me lose a bit of my warmth towards her because I just thought, lady, are you for real? But other than that, I didn't have a problem. So going into this book, I wasn't aware that it was a fantasy dystopian. I knew that it was dystopian, so when fantasy came up, I was kind of surprised, but it's not something that was off-putting or that I regret continuing reading. This book flies out of the starting gate right off the bat. It is fast-paced, there's always something happening, and the characters, most of them, are so enjoyable to read that you just have a whale of a time while it's happening. Sometimes for me there was fantasy beings thrown in that I found a little bit confusing, thought they kind of came out of nowhere. But because I haven't read much fantasy in my reading career, I just decided to go with it, grasp a fact, and see what happened. And it's not something that I regret, it's just sometimes it's something that I wasn't used to. I managed to read this book in about six hours. It kept me wanting more, and I found it hard to put it down. The situations you go into with the characters, you really feel stressed or happy or emotional for them, which I really enjoyed except the ball dropped probably around the last 20% of the book. Unfortunately, the climax of the whole story for me, even though it was meant to be super climactic and super exciting, just fell dead in the water. While I completely understand that this is meant to be a fantasy and not everything is as it seems, the super climax of this book just for me felt like it came out of nowhere. Like, one character said a line and then suddenly everything was well. I didn't enjoy it, I just thought it was too, like, this is a bit convenient. To me, there felt like there was no explanation, there was no build-up to the climax. It was just as if I was meant to accept that this is how it was. And after that scene, it didn't really get much better. Things just started to kind of happen for because the book required them, rather than that's what should have happened. So, am I going to recommend it to you? <sighs> well, I was kind of torn about this one, because if I only liked 80% of a book, we're back to that type of thing again, can I truly recommend it to you with my hand over my heart and say spend your money on this? Not really. All or nothing kind of thing, right? But what I will say is, the first 80% definitely was a good ride. The characters were funny, I enjoyed it, 
lots of things happen. So if it sounds like the type of thing that would appeal to you, then definitely go ahead. If you are in two minds about it, or you're not sure that this type of thing would appeal to you, then like always, move on, find something that you'll definitely know you'll enjoy. Otherwise, if you take a crack at it, please let me know. And as always, tell me your thoughts. Other than that, that's all I have to say. I will have a non-rambly version of this on my blog. Links will be below if you're interested in that. And until next time, Slan Lat, August Gurev Mahagut. Yay! <laughs>